Line, Coronavirus has caused a massive blowout and core waiting times, with customers spending as long as five hours on hold. And wait times have just gone up a whopping 182% in March this year compared to March last year. I'm joined now by the CEO of Captive Connect, who thinks that we need to do something about call centres and about hold music. I'm joined by Mark Horwood. Welcome, Mark. Good afternoon, Jules. Good afternoon to your listeners so as well. So why have call centre waiting times gone up so much? Is it just the obvious because so many of them are based offshore now? Well, that's part of it. But um, when we analyse all the numbers in it, Jules, we find that um, you know when COVID sort of started up and all the shops closed down, everybody thinks, well, OK, we'll go and shop online and those sorts of things. But a large proportion of people did move to the online and the digital space, but a number also went to the telephones and said, OK, I'm going to buy something by telephone instead. Uh, and people still do. You know, 72% of all business transactions are still made using a human voice. Mm. And um, so what happened, of course, is that uh, there was that increase in traffic. Then add that to the fact that a lot of the offshore call centres had to close down because of COVID and their people moved home, as did a lot of our own people in Australia. But their technology wasn't quite as advanced as ours, so it took them a week or two to be able to get their call centre people working from home whereas in Australia it took us a day or two to get ours. So it was a sort of a perfect storm. Bigger demand and a lesser capacity to be able to uh, to supply. And as you say, that the numbers went up by you know, 182% in March, uh, 250% in February from last year. Well, if you've been, uh, that, if you've been on hold, uh, 1300 222891, tell me uh, how long for, because it, particularly for some airlines, I think Virgin... Mark, I mean, they had some <laughs> shocking call waiting times, didn't they? They did, and of course, the um, the, the joke one about on hold last year, pre-COVID, was uh, Centrelink, uh, who had you know 42 million people hung up on them, I think, during the year, 42 million calls, um, because they weren't weren't able to take the calls, uh, and that was a, a lack of a number of reasons. The technology that they had was pretty old, uh, and they didn't have enough people, and increased demand as well. Now you've got that situation, but at the end of the day, the technology is available now, Jules, that, you know, A, you can, you can simply put a setting in your phone system to say anybody that's on hold for more than, let's say, five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, whatever it is, uh, offer them a call back. Mm. Uh, and you just record your name and phone number and somebody will ring you back as soon as, as, soon as you're free. You know, I had a case myself where I was trying to ring IINET and they really were fantastic. They sent me an email saying, listen, I'm sorry, mate, we can't give you the speed that we thought we could, so we're going to downgrade you to what we can give you and we'll save you $25 a month. This is at home. I thought, oh, that's a nice service. All you've got to do is ring this 1300 number. And I did, and I sat there for four hours. Until I gave up because they closed. Well, a lot of businesses do because also it's the the type of music. If you're listening to to Green Sleeves or you know Beethoven's Fifth Symphony played on a recorder, <laughs> you know down a phone line. I mean, you know, people just get get jack of doing that even after twenty to thirty minutes. Mark, very much so. Yeah, and I think you know we have to be mindful of the fact that these people sitting on hold are our customers. They're the people who are actually paying our wages. Uh, what can we do? We can't necessarily suddenly magically appear with another 100 call centre operators and even a small to medium business. You know, the call traffic increases uh, and they just can't cater for it. So what can we do? We can basically give them that option to, to ring them back when, when a line's free. We can give them something enjoyable to listen to. Now, we, we sponsor a, a, a web, uh, website called horribleonhold.com. Mm. which your listeners might like to go and have a look at. Uh, usually it, uh, the comments there are, I hate the music at, I hate the music at uh, Delta Airlines or Virgin or Qantas or whoever. Um, of recent times, all of those things have been, I hate being on hold because I sat there for four hours and they wouldn't answer. I sat there for six hours. I sat there for four hours and they hung up on me, etc., etc., etc. So the current traffic in that is, is all about times. But these days, the, uh, the capacity to provide something interesting on hold, like a jukebox where you can choose your own music. So really? You know that you, yeah. yeah. The technology is there, and we, we supply it in all over Australia, all over the US, and all over the UK. 
Ma- so you can just listen, press one for jazz, two for classic, or three for pop, or whatever it is that you want. Mark, so- the, the thing that really annoys me when I'm calling up and I'm on hold is when there's a voiceover that says, your call is important to us, yet you wait three hours for them to answer it. I, I mean, for me, it's like, if you're going to tell me that my call is important then don't keep me on hold for three hours. You know, just be honest. <laughs> that it's, it's important to us to a certain extent, <laughs> you know. So if ever you want a new job, mate, come and talk to me because people still want that. And I keep saying to them, no, you can't have it. I'm not going to, to produce that for you. you. We really appreciate your patience. You're a bloody machine, excuse me. <laughs> um, I don't believe you. Why are you? And it's just, it's just annoying and it's infuriating and it gets people angry. But um, just give them what they want, which is the news and the weather and sport mm. and, you know, um, the, the jukebox or let them play a quiz, interactive quiz, you know, like a, a, a TV show, um, something like that. All good ideas. Mark Horwood, thank you for your company and for taking us through some of the explosion in call waiting times. Appreciate the chat. My pleasure, Jules, any time. That's Mark Horwood. He's CEO of Captive Connect, yes. Well, you're listening.